Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix your Windows PC problems if your PC is not booting and you want to be able to fix these problems. I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. So maybe you've got a Windows uh, USB flash drive already created. If you haven't, then you'll need to make sure you have one of these because it's essential to use these to fix Windows, especially if it's not booting. Now, whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, you'll need to download the media creation tool from Microsoft, open this up and have a spare flash drive handy so you can create a bootable Windows media. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the program here. I'm using Windows 11 here, but if you're on Windows 10, just follow along. All I need to do here is you can use the recommended options for this PC if it's the same PC that is having an issue with, and you should have created one of these a long time ago and have it a safe place just to make sure that you have one of these available. So we're going to select a USB flash driver, got it plugged in here, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on next. You need at least eight gigabytes of space on that drive to be able to create a bootable USB flash drive. And it's going to erase all the data on that drive as well. It's going to go ahead and download and then verify the download and then create our Windows 11 media or Windows 10 media. You should see Windows flash drive has been created successfully. And now we've got this done, we can boot to that USB flash drive which will take us to this location right here. All we need to do here is choose our language and click on next. This is gonna allow us to choose the repair this PC option, as you can see it right here. So if your PC is not booting, this is how we can fix it. We're gonna click on the repair your computer. We're not gonna click on install now because that is gonna install a fresh copy of Windows and we don't wanna do that. So assuming your PC is not booting, what you wanna do, at choose an option is choose troubleshoot and of course, we're going to go down to command prompt and we're going to run a bunch of commands inside here to fix Windows. So now we should have a command prompt open as administrator here. And you can see it says x colon backslash sources. So type c colon and then type dir to see whether we're in the Windows directory here. And you can see Windows users and recovery and a bunch of other stuff in here. So I know our C drive is our Windows directory. Next, we need to find our USB flash drive that we've just created. So type D colon, and we'll do a search to make sure that this is our drive with all of our Windows files on. So I'm gonna do D colon and type DIR, and you can see it does have the setup.exe and sources, which tells me this is my USB flash drive. It's on drive D, so I now know that Windows is on C, and my USB flash drive is on D. So this is quite useful because we're going to need all this for our commands that we're going to be running on our system. So let's go back to our C drive by typing C colon, and we'll go back to our C drive where we're going to run a bunch of commands to try and fix Windows. So there we are. We're back on our C drive here. So I'll clear the screen by typing CLS, and this will give us a nice clear prompt screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So let me go ahead and I'll do that and type CLS and we can then start with our commands that we're going to be running on this computer to try and fix it. Now you can't run SFC space forward slash scan now here because it's not going to work, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to type out our first one, which is DISM space forward slash image colon C colon backslash. Now the C colon backslash is our C drive because we know that's where Windows is. And we'll do our space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and in space forward slash source colon c colon backslash windows let this run now you might see the scratch directory size might be insufficient to perform this operation this can cause unexpected behavior if that is the case then you can create a temporary directory inside your c root directory of your windows and run the scan again i'll show you how to do that after this because we do have that scratch directory error coming up here. Just to make sure that we don't have any issues, I'll show you how to do it. So on our C drive, we're gonna type MD space temp, and this is gonna create a temporary folder right in here, temporary directory in our C root directory here. And from here, we can now do the same command again. So use your up arrow keys on your keyboard here, and this will bring up all of the previous commands that you've done, and right here, this is the command here, but we need to add on the end here now, space forward slash scratch dir 
colon C colon backslash temp because that is the folder that we've just created. And this is then going to run a scan. And hopefully when we do this, it's going to uh, remove that error that we had. And this is going to use that temporary directory that we've just created here. So it's pretty straightforward stuff, but let's just go ahead and uh, do a backslash here and do temp because that is the directory where we just created inside our C drive. So once we're done here, we can now push enter and it's the same command we did before, but now we've got that scratch dir on there and this is where it's going to point to. So let's go ahead and push the enter key and this scan will then go off and take its time to run another scan on your computer. So be patient. Now, if you're having issues, it will tell you that you've got a problem uh, with your system and it will come up here. And uh, basically, I'm running this on a perfectly working system, but I'm just showing you the process of what you would do on a broken system here. So let's go ahead and we'll let this run and then we can move on with the next uh, step. Uh, now, this is going to pull files from the Internet, from the Windows updates. Uh, online if it needs those files it will pull those files down and replace those files for you and it will fix your system so let's go ahead and uh, do the next command for that we're going to change to our d drive here by typing d colon and we're now inside our d drive which is our usb flash drive we can now change our directory to our sources directory and once we're inside here what we're looking for is our install .wim or install.esd file. So inside here, this is our USB flash drive with all of our Windows files on it, which we just created. And here it is right here. In this case, mine is install.wim. In some circumstances, this can also be install.esd. So bear that in mind and just remember whether yours is .wim or .esd. And once we've got this, we can then put in our next command, which is to do a offline scan. So for an offline scan, it's going to use the files inside of our Windows USB flash drive that we've just created. So use your up arrow keys on your cursor uh, keyboard, and basically this will bring up all your previous commands here. All we need to do here is just change the source colon C colon backslash Windows because we're not going to be pointing to that location anymore. We're going to be pointing to our USB flash drive. So we need to change that to our D drive. So let's go ahead and do that and do colon D colon and from there backslash sources. And then we can go backslash install.wim in my case, but yours could be install.esd there. But we're just doing install.wim because that's what's on my system. And we can leave this, the rest as it is. But what it's going to do here is now do a restore health scan on the system and basically use an offline and it's going to use all of the files if they're corrupted or broken it's going to use the files on our usb flash drive that we've just created here so just change it to whatever it is here at the end so what we're going to do is push enter here and let it run another scan on the system now remember this is doing a offline scan and it's using the files that are on our usb flash drive rather than using files that are online which is on the uh, windows updates and downloading them that way if they are corrupted, it will replace those files. This is going to replace them from our USB flash drive. Pretty simple stuff. So what we're going to do after we do this is our SFC scan now command, which is going to be slightly different because we are in a offline mode. So what we're going to do is SFC space forward slash scan now space off boot DIR equals C colon space forward slash off win DIR equals C colon backslash windows and let that run. And that is going to scan our Windows directory uh, for this, but it's doing it in an offline mode here. So we're going to allow this to run, and hopefully mine will say there's no violations or no corrupted files. If you've got problems with your system, it will probably show up that you have issues, and it will fix and replace those files. But hopefully, once this is all done, you should see a clean bill of health, and you should see there's no violation on your system. So let's go ahead and let that finish off. As you can see here, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, which is exactly what you should see if you've got a perfectly working system. And hopefully that helps you out. So that's basically how you can fix Windows problems if it's not booting. That's why I can't stress enough that you should always have a USB flash drive with your version of Windows on it. So at least if anything goes wrong, you can always boot to it 
and do some fixes and repairs to your system. Anyway, but that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. <laughs>